Hi everyone! Today on Hello Susan we're going to make paper clips that are tassels. And it's very simple to make. We're going to go step by step and this is what it looks like. Isn't it pretty? Move that out of the way for right now. So what I did was I just gathered up a bunch of ribbons and laces so I'd have different textures. And I'm working on a pink journal right now. So I'm going to go ahead and, and concentrate on pinks today. I went ahead and did some of the prep already. As you know, I like to do that. Let me go through other supplies that I'm going to use. These are clamps. And you make them, they're, a lot of people use them for jewelry. I got this whole kit on Amazon, and it comes with every size you can think of, plus it comes with some chain and some clasp and things, in case you wanted to make a choker or a bracelet or whatever you wanted to make. And that's what we're going to use to hold all the ribbons together. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to, I'm going to take this apart. This is what I put together already. And you can see that I just have different ribbons and uh, at the top I did a straight edge at the ends I did an angle and all I'm going to do is just I'm going to pick these up and I'm going to start layering them keeping the top part flush of course I've got all different lengths here just so it give it some interest Got a couple of each colors, just to give it some continuity. They're, they're so simple. I, I needed something like this for my journal because a tassel was going to be too much on the outside of the book. But I didn't want to give up my tassel. So I thought, well, what else can I do? And then I thought, well, let me play around and see what I can come up with. And I came up with this on a paper clip. Now, I'm sure I didn't invent this, okay? I may have seen it someplace, and that's how it all of a sudden, you know, gelled for me. I'm not too sure. But I'm going to show you some different ways that you can do it. Okay, let's put this little piece of lace right here. Okay, so if your edges are not perfectly flush, just take your scissors. I'm going to do it over the trash can here. And see, I just cut it straight. Straight across there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my clamp. And I'm going to situate that on there. I'm going to press it with my fingers. You can kind of get it started that way. And then I have these pliers that I'm going to press it as hard as I can. Turn it over. Okay, I feel like that's got it. All of them are in there very good. So then the next thing you do is you put it on your paper clip. Now, what could be easier than that? And one thing I noticed is that when it's in the book, it stands up just like this. So this comes down the outside edge of your page. And this goes on the page so that it's it's really flat. So then I started thinking, well, how can I decorate this a little bit more? So on this blue one, I did, I glued a little flower to it. See how it's just glued right there? So I glued that flower. So that just made that just a little bit more decorative. And then um, today what I want to do is I've got this little butterfly. It's an organza butterfly. And I just want to glue that right there on that metal and a little bit on the lace because I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac. And I think I'll put it on the butterfly instead of the, the base. Okay. And I'm just going to set it right in the center. Press down. And look. Now we have 
a tassel with a butterfly on it. Isn't that cute? And let me show you the journal that I'm working on. It's the barn swallow one. And I'll show you how it looks. Now this is the side view. So it just kind of blends in with all the, the ruffles and things. But if I open it up to that page, you'll be able to see exactly how it's attached. So see, it's right there. And then right there. And then here's the tassel right here. And I put a bow on this one. Isn't that pretty? Well, that, that was my little take on the tassel paper clip. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for joining me today. That's it for today, so see you next time. Bye-bye.